Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in here. For today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Black Arachnia figure. This is an updated Black Arachnia figure for the Warfare Cybertron Generations line. This is her look as seen in the original Beast Wars cartoon, but this is how she will appear in the Kingdom line as well. These are basically just reiterations, redos of the original Beast Wars designs and put into a brand new Generations line for the Netflix cartoon coming out later this May. So yeah, this figure is really great. It's a nice updated look at her original 96 CGI model. And this thing is beautiful. You can see back here that there's really not much much of a robot mode hanging off. You have her spider legs and the butt of it, but it's really folded up really well. I saw some folks referring to it as a shell former, which I felt was technically inaccurate. Um, a, a shell former, in my mind, is a figure in which most of the alt mode hangs off somewhere of the vehicle to, for it to fold up into. Black Arachnia absolutely folds up for her transformation, but there's no shell here. This is this is just the back, and you know this honestly has to go somewhere. I think everything uh, involved in this, they whoops, they did very very well from getting you know a fully articulated robot that looks like this to a really nice looking spider mode so i really hope you don't have arachnophobia for this one let's get into it now for comparisons, this is really not a comparison. I do not have any other version of the original Black Arachnia design. I do not have Beast Wars. I do not have the Masterpiece version, so I'm sorry. The only other real Black Arachnia that I can compa compare her to here is animated Black Arachnia. So the only reason for this comparison is because this mold was used for a Takara Legends version, which was a Beast Wars original color scheme for this Black Arachnia figure. So if you have that one and you're just curious how they scale up, here's how they look. I was tempted to get the Legends one to kind of, you know, work as my generation's Black Arachnia, but now I don't have to so there's that and also if you're curious about a scale comparison here she is with Voyager class Optimus Primal so Primal is kind of a shorter Voyager but there are those two together for anybody curious here's how they scale up um, I think they look really good together again all these Beast Wars guys you get any of them into a group shot they just look really wonderful or I'm sorry the kingdom guys I'm really sorry John Hasbro don't shoot me and for anybody curious, here she is with the absolute monster that is Kingdom Leader Megatron. So you can see how these guys scale up together. You have a really nice example of a deluxe class with a leader class right here. They look awesome together. All the sculpting looks great. And just, again, when you put these Kingdom or Beast Wars guys together, they just look awesome. I'm really excited to have more Predacons because right now, this is all we've got. And she kind of defects. So spoiler alert for a show that's, you know, 20 years old now. Now to get a closer look at her detailing here, her head sculpt is phenomenal. Again, I'm sorry that I don't have the masterpiece to compare it to because those two sculpts look really fantastic, but there's her head sculpt. Um, it is like the original animation model, but her eyes are kind of just dead black. Um, I don't think they look bad at all. I kind of want to get in there and paint them green because I really like that glow expression that she had in Beast Wars when her and Tarantulas were like uh, connected or whatever. But uh, yeah, she looks great. Really nice uh, detail down here. Again, you can see a Predacon logo on her collar. She's not got, um, she's got great paint work all the way down her chest and everything. Um, Everything down here is actually painted. She's got this really nice gold on black look to her, and all the colors look really, really good. Um, the paint um, on the gold and you know the stuff that's actually colored plastic does not match perfectly, but I actually I think it looks really good. I kind of like the different hues of that uh, of that color in there. So, let's pop this out real quick. Her sculpted detail on her hands and everything. She just looks really, really good. Again, she is just flat. Like I, I don't know. I don't really know how else to put it. She's got her five millimeter ports on her back. She's got them on her feet. Um, so yeah, you can still hit her with weaponizer and fossil stuff. Her um, setup here for her arms, you can set these up however you want. I know in the cartoon or whatever she kind of had them kind of crazy like this kind of just all sprawled out so you can do that still they're just on ball joints uh, my only worry with these is these someday exploding like the revenge of the fallen scalpel legs did i don't think they will they feel sturdier definitely but uh is a worry hopefully we don't have to get like replacement legs for that someday but these are little ball joints up here so you can get her with them all sprayed out um, i kind of do prefer them kind of folded down not like a cape or anything but just kind of allocated in a specific position Black Arachnia does not have much for accessories, but she does have a nice little gun down here. So this thing is really, really cool. It's got really, whoops, it's got really nice mold detailing all the way around it. And I really like it. It's got two little tabs up here that it uses to uh, peg into spider mode at the bottom. It looks great. It's got a standard five millimeter port, which the gaps in her uh, little pincer hands do fit five millimeters. So no worries there. And yeah, she looks great with it. I don't mind this at all. I, I don't really, you know, I wasn't expecting any other accessories like a spider web or anything. It would be cool for me an accessory set. So yeah, I'm just really glad that she does come with a original version of her gun. Arachnophobia here does have some really nice articulation. She's got a hinge and a ball joint in her head, so it's going to go back and it's going to go forward that much. It's going to rotate 360 degrees as well. There's some divots on her arms here, so they're not going to rotate 360 all the way up cleanly, but they'll uh, follow that right there. You get 360 movement. They go in and outward that much at the shoulder. She's got a bicep swivel because I like this detail here. Um, the spider legs are not connected to the bicep. They are the bicep. This is all one piece, and this is what connects the arms together. I really enjoy that system right there. Uh, comes out really, really smooth. 
I also got a rotation here for transformation at the elbow and her arms uh, go up a little probably about 90 degrees maybe a tiny bit more and they go backwards so if you want to make her again look like a family guy character you can she's got no waist articulation due to the way she transforms but her legs they're gonna go forward that much and they go backward that much they're gonna go in and outward that much she has some really really nice um uh, posability there just because of the way she transforms her thighs rotate up so she can do the splits very well her uh, thighs are going to rotate 360 her knees right here are double jointed because of the transformation but again translates beautifully to robot mode she's also got some uh, ankle articulation so they go backward but not very much but again because of the transformation they fold up like that and then also some really nice side to side pivots here so she's got a wonderful array of articulation she's a little hindered um, because of her waist um, but I mean nothing that's crazy so there's really no emotiveness you can't get out of her I was really surprised about this because yeah she's just wonderful she feels just really smooth and really really nice and expressive Itsy Bitsy here has a really interesting uh, transformation to get her to a really nice smooth spider mode. So let's go ahead and... Black Arachnia, terrorize! I think she looks absolutely wonderful. I think, you know, they again, they did a really good job collapsing this all into one nice, cohesive looking spider here. I mean, this is a nice little, you know, packed up figure here and all of this bulb back here on the back. So I really hope nobody watching this has arachnophobia. If you do, I doubt you clicked the video, but uh, really sorry if you do. For anybody curious, here she is, at least with uh, Deluxe Kingdom Cheetor. So here's how two Deluxes scale up together. Again, this is what you're looking at. She's kind of a little bit small. I mean, I don't have, again, I don't have big hands. You can see how big she is there. Um, but uh, yeah, these are how these two scale up together. Just to get an idea of uh, some Kingdom figures and some Kingdom figures. Now her detail is just great. Let's go ahead and get creepy here and look at the detail on her eyes. Every eye there is painted. She's got her little pincers there. Uh, I, I like it a lot. She's got really beautiful texture all the way around. She's got her, I guess, uh, I guess Black Widow logo here, whatever, uh, is painted. I'm sorry, I don't know the actual terms. But uh, yeah, this looks really great. All this texture back here just looks gross in a really, really nice way. Her pincers do kind of stick out there on the back, but I'm, I'm not bothered. They got to go somewhere. This texture all just looks really, really nice. Her legs have this kind of like gross, fuzzy texture to them. It looks great. I, I really enjoy this a lot. So her uh, arachnid mode is wonderful. Her articulation, she doesn't have anything in the head, obviously, but these are all on ball joints. So really, this is it over here. Each of these legs, well, actually, with the way they transform, they fold up. So you can actually get more of like a taller spider out of this if you want. I mean, hopefully your stands, but uh, you can do that. You can move these up and down to get, you know, any type of spider pose, at least in the legs. And then also these are on ball joints. So you can put these forward, backwards. You can hike these up to get different types of poses out of her. There's not too much you can do because her stability she's pretty back heavy she's pretty thick back there but uh yeah i mean she still looks really good in this mode and the fact that you can get some emotiveness out of the legs is really nice she does have weapon storage, but it's kind of uh, finicky. So I did mention earlier, she's got these uh, two tabs back here on the gun. If you bring it up here, it doesn't plug in this way. It plugs in this way. So it's the back part there, I guess, to kind of be the spinner, you know, for webs. But uh, there's two little 
tab holes right here. You want to tab this in here. Now, these arms don't stick together very well. There's two little tabs in the pincers that are supposed to stick together. Really, what keep these locked in are the... Um, little spacer connector here that are placed at the bottom of the feet that these go into so the legs hang out kind of finicky on the bottom unfortunately but if you can get that lined up you can get this usually the way i'm able to get it is only one's able to tab in but it does hold it but uh yeah you can kind of see there it's a little lopsided it actually did it pretty well for the video so i'm thankful but you can tab in uh, her gun there for some really nice arachnid mode uh i guess vehicle storage you can put her gun in her spider there you go so all things considered, I just really think she's a fantastic little toy. I, I really do. I think she's a great modern deluxe class. She makes this really nice, elegant, smooth, fluid robot mode, and it compacts into this really nice um, spider mode. The really only hinky thing are her arms, but I was actually able to do them very well for the video, so really not an issue at all. So hopefully you guys don't have any tolerance issues with her, and I'm, I'm a big fan of her. So that's pretty much all I've got to say here about Spider-Woman. If you guys have any questions about her, maybe something I did not cover in the video specifically, please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below. I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Please like this video if you enjoyed this content subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching